In this week's Yukon project, we're going to build a magnetic stirrer. It's a simple and useful device I use for mixing chemicals for my projects, one of which is sodium hydroxide which I use for PCB fabrication. Let's first start with the things that you will need. First you'll need the 12 volt cooling fan, a switch and a DC jack, a super glue, and some neodymium magnets. You'll also need the plastic container in which your cooling fan would fit in. The first step in this project is to remove the blades of the fan. In my case, I used a wire cutter to snip off the blades. The goal here is to eliminate wind resistance while keeping the fan's motor perfectly balanced. By using a Dremel tool, you can easily sand off the protruding edges by doing this. In mounting your magnets, you'll need a few drops of super glue to secure it in place. The first magnet should have its north facing upwards. Use a pair of tweezers if you must. Just remember that the motor has magnets in it. Your magnets could repel from it, making the alignment process much more difficult. In my case, I got a lot of super glue on my hand. As for the other magnet, its south must be facing upwards. Once done, set it aside and leave it to dry for a couple of minutes. I then set my bench power supply to 12 volts and observed whether my setup was well balanced. If vibrations are barely felt, it means you did a very good job in aligning the magnets. If not, you would have to redo it again as your motor would have a hard time spinning due to the added load. I made a cardboard template for my switch and transferred the measurements to my plastic container. You can use a sharpie or whatever kind of marker you have lying around. In my years of posting projects at Instructables, I'm often asked what I use to cut plastic. Well, I usually use my mini drill and use it as a routing tool. It's kinda like using your hands and your drill as a CNC machine. Well, I accidentally broke my bit so I had to pop off the remaining plastic. Anyway, after doing so, you can now mount your switch. To prevent your switch from wobbling around, you can use a few blobs of hot glue to secure it in place. Then you can cut another hole for your DC jack. As for the wiring, I connected the switch, the DC jack, and the fan in series. I started by soldering the lower pin of my switch to the positive end of my DC jack. Then solder the positive wire of my cooling fan to the middle pin of my switch. As for the negative wire of my cooling fan, I then soldered it to the negative end of my DC jack. Now that you're done with the wiring, you can now mount your fan in place in your plastic container. Luckily, mine fit perfectly inside in my chosen container. Since my cooling fan is rated at 12 volts, I had to find a 12 volt power brick from my stash. I then connected my brick to my project's DC jack and plugged it in on the outlet. After flicking the switch, your fan's motor should swiftly rotate. Readjust your fan's distance if your magnets are hitting your container's lid. Be sure it's close as possible to the lid. And now you have a magnetic stirrer. Put a jar on top, drop a small magnet, and turn on the switch. Your stirring magnet should spin really fast creating a mesmerizing vortex on your liquid solution. In my experience, this is much more useful than manually stirring chemical solutions using a stick or a spoon. I usually use this for mixing my sodium hydroxide powder with water. It's something that I use as a developing solution in my homebrew double-sided PCB fabrication. And that's how you make a magnetic stir. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button to stay updated on my upcoming videos. I hope you guys enjoy this project. Thanks for watching.